YouTube, welcome back again. This is Buckeye Power Sports. I'm Shane. So I was talking about reeds in my other video and and about the uh, Moose Racing Torque Plate. Well, if you have an earlier model uh, KX500, the uh, spacer plate that you're going to put in your reed cage. So the reed cage, the, this plate won't fit over the reed cage. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to file this. I've got a black file that I've gotten from Sears a long time ago. It's a real aggressive file. Um, you can see how it's designed, and that's what makes it aggressive. Uh, if you just use a single cut file, it's going to take a while for you to file it down. Um, this plate, I believe it's, it feels like it's aluminum. It could be aluminum. If it is, it's going to be easy to file. Basically, you're going to have to file the plate to fit the reed cage. So let's get started and I'm going to show you what we need to do to get this done. I'm going to fix this. Alright, let's get started. So here's here's a torque reed spacer plate and here's my file. So what I'm going to do, I hope you all can see this, is I'm just going to take and I'm going to hold it flat and I'm just going to stroke the file back and forth um, it's better if you have like a piece of rag instead of just holding it metal on your on your uh, toolbox because that way you can you can hold it a lot easier and it won't it won't move on the metal of your toolbox so basically you're just going to file it back and forth You can hold it up here on the top too as well. <clears throat> I'm having an issue with this rag. This rag is going to irritate me. One second here. I think I just found the solution. So we're going to use this piece of wood. That might be a lot better. Okay, here we go. So, take the file. And what you're going to do, not this side, but the sides. The size is what you want. So you're going to file the sides, and you're basically going to hold the file flat as you possibly can. You can do this with a Dremel, you can do this with a carbide bit, but for me right now, this is what I'm using. I have more control over it. When you get to an when you get to it to where you think that you filed it enough, flip it over, do the other side. And the same thing as well. You want to have a lot of control over the file. You want to be all crazy with it. So basically, filing it flat. And you don't have to push down very hard with this file either because it's pretty aggressive. It'll take it down pretty quick. And they're like 10 bucks at Sears. I like this file because it's real aggressive for stuff like this. And it, it gets it done. I remember when I got tires at uh, Big O Tires one night and it was they were getting ready to close. And the... Uh, the guys that were putting on the wheels, they cross-threaded the damn lug nuts onto the studs. Oh man, I was pissed. So, right across from Big O, there was a, a mall, and Sears was in that mall. So I, I told him, hang on, I'll be right back. Went over to Sears, and got a, a $10 file, which is the one I'm holding in my hand and doing this job with. And uh, I came back and I filed the top of the stud on the for the lug nut where they cross threaded it. They did that to like two or three of them. Got it all fixed up. And I told them to put new lug nuts on there for free. And they took care of it. All right, getting back to this reed spacer plate. Now we're going to check and see and make sure that it's all 
gonna fit. Okay, as you can see, it still needs more. It's not quite fitting on there like it should. It won't go all the way down. So let's take a quick measurement and see how far out this space plate is. Get our micro our digital mic. Make sure it's zeroed out. Alright. Put the reed cage back on the wood. Leave it on millimeters so we know what's going on. We're going to measure how wide this reed cage is. So basically what you want to do is make sure when you're doing your your measuring, make sure that it's flat and you're not crisscross on your on the mic. So we're looking at it looks like we are looking at eighty one oh four. I think is what we're seeing. Is what I'm seeing anyways. Let me square it up, make sure it's good. 8103 is what it looks like. So I'm going to set this at 8103. Locked down at 8103. Now we can kind of gauge on how much we actually need to take out. Alright, so <clears throat> we're at 8103. 8103. Let's measure the plate. Make sure you're centered. Or you can do it at the top, whatever. I'll do it in the center. Make sure you're squared up. So right now we're at 80, 80, 80, 84 millimeters. Eighty, eighty four millimeters. Lock it down. Check it again. That's where we're at, 80, 84 millimeters. So we now know how far we have to go. Which, I mean, we're almost, we're, we're almost there. Eighty, eighty-four. All right, let's keep filing. Move the reed cage, get that out of the way. Just keep filing. Flip it over, do it again. You want to make sure it's flat. You don't want to make sure you're holding it at an angle. If you hold it at an angle, it's not going to be good. Okay, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to clean this up. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that when you are filing, you want to make sure you want to have a good uh, wire brush because you want to clean the file. It'll help it cut better because when it gets clogged up, it's, it doesn't really want to clean. And this file, the reason, another good uh, reason to have this file is it cleans really well. It doesn't get clogged up like your conventional uh, files. And I'll show you what I mean.
Okay, so here's a good example. There's basically with this type of file, I don't know if you can see that, but there's in here, it's clogged. And even if you do try to wire brush it out, you can wire brush it as hard as you want. You can see the difference. It still don't want to come out because there's still specks in there. And it just, it doesn't, they don't want to come out. They're stuck in there. So after after you do something like that, you got to take a knife. And you've got to go through the grooves and, and clean them. So that's another reason why this file works really well. All right, so I just got done filing. And um, let's check it. Let's see where we're at. So... I said where the reed cage is at 8103 and looks like we're at a little bit more than 8103 which is good so let's uh, let's check it make sure there's no leftover uh, shavings on that we don't want to get it all over our reed cage Still need more. Looks like looks like the base of it is a lot more wide uh, wider than the uh, top of the reed cage. So let's see. Let's measure that and see where that's at. We'll unlock this. Bring it back down to zero, make sure we're at zero. Let's measure the reed cage again. So the top's at 8103, it's what it looks like. Is what I was measuring. Let's measure down here at the bottom. All right, so it is bigger at the bottom. So it's 8191 down at the bottom. Eighty one ninety one is where we're at at the bottom. Eighty one ninety one. So we're gonna keep filing. <laughs> 